So, good morning. Um, today we're heading over to a little village just outside of Stamford in Lincolnshire called Ketton. Um, really hard water and we're going to be fitting a water softener into the family's garage. It's a um, pretty straightforward installation uh, but we've got to make sure we've got maximum flow rates because the heating system is combination boiler so we've got to make sure we maximize how much water is going through there we don't want somebody to be in a shower and because of a restriction by the water softener if they turn the tap on downstairs and the flow reduces down in the shower so I've got a few tricks up my sleeve um, when I get out of the van I'll show you what I'm, what I'm intending to do we're going to put an eco water in today um, the family want to be able to monitor their water and also we monitor that system as well so if there was a leak in there we would be able to find it and be warned about it before it does any damage if they need more salt putting in they'll get an alert because it's in the garage you know they can perhaps not check it all the time so they'll get alert on the handset and um, they can actually monitor what sort of water is being used and they will get service reminders as well through that app it's a really good app so let's get over there let's have a look i'll show you what tricks i'm going to do to maximize the flow rate stay tuned things to take into consideration when we're installing any kind of water softener is the hoses what connect the system to the mains so in domestic we generally use a 12 mil or a 19 mil the 12 mil go on a 15 mil um, system and the 19 mil will go on a 22 up to 28 so the reason for that is the amount of flow what can travel through these pipes so if you put a 12 mil onto a system what's on a 22 mil pipe you may restrict the water what's flowing through it so for this particular one we're going to use a 19 mil for the 22 system and then that should see that we've got ample water going through the home Another thing to take into consideration is when we're actually fitting the valves onto the existing pipe work is that we use a configuration like this for a bypass set. So the water comes in on this side, it travels through the inlet to the water softener and then it comes back through this side and back to the rest of the system. The valve in the middle is the bypass so if you ever wanted to isolate this machine you'd switch all three valves off restricting the water going to the softener and then releasing it which will give you hard water now what is really important is that you get the right size this is 22 mil it's full valve which means there's no restriction again so it won't impair any kind of flow going through the property Hope you agree that was a fantastic installation and it was very neat and these customers are going to enjoy softened water for years to come if you want to find out more about what we do and how we change your water 
from hard to soft and make it exceptionally tasty when you're drinking, then all you've got to do is hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell because the bell will notify you when we're going to release some new videos. Okay, see you soon.